Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Wooden here. Today we are going to continue to make functional developers cry as we oopify our UI classes and make them more class-based, abstract away a lot of the hard work around creating UI elements so that people who use these components or building blocks of UIs don't have to worry about all the details. We've already got duck in a class here, so we can get rid of all of this and just say duck equals new duck and continue, it's not duke, it's duck, there we go. But the rest of this stuff is still not in there, so let's uh, tackle part of this. We're not gonna get all of this, but let's try. We've already got our class later. I'm in the middle of the video, thank you. Let's go ahead and start the big old tick method. So we'll say tick delta, which is the time since last time it called. We're just gonna take the existing logic here, get rid of all this, and we're gonna paste it inside of that method, align it a little better. All right, first thing, get rid of this, abstract it away. Scope problems are gone. Now we say, if we have a target, then we should do all this logic. However, this is a pure function. We need to change it to a class method. So we're gonna say class method, and it takes a duck, a duck target, and a duck speed. However, two of these variables, we know who they are. The duck is this, so we can get rid of that, right? And the duck speed we can get rid of because we are the duck. We have access to our speed. So what we need is who are you trying to get the X and Y velocity to move to? Let's go copy the contents of that function, which is here. Paste it in and change anything that says sprite to me because me is the sprite we're trying to deal with. And target, we'll just put target. Change to duck target. We're in a duck. We know what a duck is. Obviously it's a duck target if it's inside of a duck. Well, duck class, you know what I mean? Instead of speed, it's me speed because this is a class. So it's scoped to the class. So there's no need to create a pure function. And if you're a function developer, I'm sorry I'm making you cry right now. You've got to learn oop if you want to survive in a world where you're surrounded by oop people. This is now a class method. So we have to say me that get X live velocity. No need for the duck. No need for the speed. And it's not duck target, it's me target. So we get the same return values, we just no longer have to worry about all those inputs for pure functions because most of those are scoped to us. It's not me target hit points, and me target, and me speed. All right, close enough is another class method we have to make. So let's go ahead and get the contents of this guy. We'll copy all the way to the method name here. And it's no longer an arrow function, it's a normal function in class syntax. And the double-edged sword is you have scope. And we don't need speed because, once again, we are a class that has access to our own speed. Fantissimo. So the only variables you pass in are the X and Y to calculate the distance from you. We're close enough to where you're trying to go. Now, let's change this to me close enough. And instead of speed, we don't even need it. It's included in the class. And it's not me, X and Y. Me, X, and Y. Get rid of that duck. Last one is eat bread. Where's eat bread? Eat bread. Find it. Find the eat bread. There it is. Copy the method inside of duck here. Go right above tick. By the way, the order doesn't matter. I'm just putting them above the dude who uses them. Instead of the duck, we don't need the duck. Obviously, we're just passing in bread. This is not equal. There is no arrow because it's not an arrow function. It's a class method. So the bread hit points, this is still kind of a pure function, mainly because there is no outside variables. And we're just passing in bread. Okay, so we have a eat bread. Say me eat bread. Get rid of the duck. There's no need to pass it in. And me target. Voila, now we can get rid of all this insanity. So we can get rid of this function. The eat, get, uh, see, eat bread, don't need that anymore. Get duck, we can get rid of all this insanity. So we can actually just return new duck and actually instead of new duck would you stop that thank you we'll pass in parent and there you go so if you pass in parent grant if you don't oh well duck can handle a null or an undefined parent that in a lot less code we'll get rid of all these other pure wonderful pure functions and now we've reduced our code. We've reduced it from 100 and so lines to 57. Not bad. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you abstract away all the functionality for some specific sprite that you're creating. It could be smart, it could be interactive, or it could just have intelligence based on time, other interactive factors that have nothing to do with user gesture events. It's really just how do you draw it, right? What texture it is, what scale, what other 
special properties that you kind of decorate on it. And then the methods, we just scope to the class so that you can pass in variables that are dynamic, but the rest of it's scoped to itself. And that way you reduce how much code you have to write. All people who consume your component just have to instantiate it. And the nice little trick we showed you yesterday around the parent.